Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I install my lace fronts. Right now, my hair looks really, really bad. I have to redo it right now. I didn't do it yet. And I know I look a little crazy. It's only because I'm really sick, kind of. I had like a migraine headache since yesterday. It's so bad. I've been sleeping all day long. But I wanted to film this video for you guys because I have school tomorrow and I have to do my hair anyways. So I was like, I might as well film the whole process for you guys. So I just threw on a little bit of makeup so I won't look like a zombie because I was looking a little crazy. Usually when I do my hair, I don't have any makeup on at all because... I don't know, just whatever. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna show you guys how I do this. I'm gonna show you guys the things that you're gonna need to do it if you wanna do it the exact way that I like to do it. First thing you're gonna need is a spray bottle full of alcohol. If you use the glue that I use, if you wanna use the glue that I use, then you're gonna need alcohol to remove it. Another thing you're gonna need is this Evolve, first line Evolve bald cap. You can get any bald cap you want. I like to use these, they're like the best ones to me. They're only like a dollar or like less than a dollar for two in one pack so get basically one pack comes with two every time i go to i get these from sally's every time i get them i get like 10 at once i get so many so it can last me such a long time whatever i like to use freeze blast it got to be freeze blast this i use this for so many different things i use it to hold down the bald cap to help my baby hairs if there's little pieces slipping up then i use it to hold them down if there's flyaways i use it for that this is like this comes in handy for so many things and it's needed i feel like in everybody's life even if you don't really sponsor this is like it's so good, so you can see me today. You're gonna need a brush. I got this brush. You can use any tangler brush you want, whatever. I got this brush actually with my hair. It came with it. Um, I'm gonna do a hair review really, really soon on this hair. I've been wearing it for about a week now, and I really, really love it. There's like, I have no, no complaints with it at all. I love it so much. But I like to give it some time before I go in with the review and tell people about it. I like to like wear it for a few weeks instead of just wearing it for like two days and then telling you like, you know, the first week is always gonna be nice no matter if it's good hair or not. So. I was just like, let me just wear it for a while and then talk about it. You're also gonna need a rat tooth, I mean rat tailed comb. <laughs> Anything that's like just pointy. You can get this anywhere. You can find this at like the dollar store, Sally's, Walmart, Target, whatever. You guys, everybody should have one of these already. <laughs> and then I like to use the Ghost Bond glue, which is why I have the alcohol because these, this glue, I don't think it comes with the remover. Maybe it does. If it does, let me know because I have no idea if it does or not. But to remove it, to one time I seen, I, before I bought it, I was like thinking, if it's so strong, what am I gonna use to remove it without damaging my natural hair? I don't wanna rip out my edges. So I um, looked high low on YouTube and ended up seeing a comment that said if you use this glue to remove it, the best way to do it is with alcohol, like 99% alcohol. Um, so that's what I have in here. And it's easier to put in a spray bottle because when you just remove your wig, you just literally have to spray it on there and then you just peel it right off. Mine's already come halfway off. Um, <laughs> That was a bad sight, oh my god. I've never done my hair on YouTube before, this is so weird. But yeah guys, and this glue is actually like, how much is it? Like $20, I think? Maybe $21, $20, $21. I can order it off of Amazon. So I usually order it online, so I know you can get this on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you guys. You're also gonna need a headband, a tight headband, whatever you want to use. I'm literally using stockings, guys. Call me what you want. This is so ghetto, but I don't care. I use, like to use these because these are really stretchy, and this doesn't give me a headache. Like, I get headaches really, really easily, um, but this doesn't, like, cause headaches. I guess it's because it's so stretchy. I don't know. So, yeah, that's all the things you're going to need, basically. Um, probably forgot a few things. If I did, then I'll tell you guys. <laughs> First thing I'm going to use is alcohol. I like to take it and just spray it all over my frontal. <laughs> I can feel it loosening up already. Look at that, guys. It's coming off already. Oh, it's dripping down my face. Literally, it's so easy to remove. Okay, you guys see how easily this is coming up right now? Sometimes I take it and go inside. I'm basically trying to avoid pulling as much as possible. I don't want to just pull anything right off. If it doesn't come off super easily like this, then I'm not taking it off. I don't want to pull out my edges whatsoever so i'm just putting as much as this possible i end up using like a lot usually because i put a lot of glue so i can stay down throughout the week usually um i actually this glue is so good like i use it um every like sunday saturday every week and i basically do my hair over again and then i'm in school so like i don't like doing my hair overnight um at night for school because i have so many things to do study homework sleep um so i try not to do my hair during the week i just do it on the weekends this glue literally lasts all week long like i usually do it on sunday so it can be fresh for the week um and then Monday to Friday, Monday to Saturday, it's fresh, perfect, like I don't have to do anything. I don't know if you guys can see that, the bald cap right there. Right there. I can't believe I'm going to do this on YouTube right now. And I never reuse the bald cap. I feel like it's, after I use it once, it's like, it's trash. I'm gonna go wash my natural hair, and then I'm gonna come back with the bald cap on. 
Oh my god, I look insane. <laughs> I've never been on YouTube like this before. Oh my god, ew. With my natural hair, I always um take it and I just brush it all the way back into one um braid and then i put it into a braid and then i wrap it around into a little bun so i have my bald cap on if you can't hear me that well it's because the heater's on i'm sorry now i'm gonna take the freeze blast it dries really really fast one reason why i love doing this method is because of how fast everything is like the glue dries so fast this dries so fast it just makes my life easier because i can put this on and like i can do this whole process in like 30 minutes so i'm going to take this and put it right on my scalp like Right, okay, my scalp, my hairline starts, I don't think you can see it, but it starts like right here. Um, and I like to put it there, and then also like a little bit downward onto my like skin. Oh. Yeah, so that's what I do. Okay, so it's dried down now. Now you can see it's a little lighter when it's wet, it's like a little darker on the scalp. My face looks like squished. My face looks so weird. Oh my god, it looks so weird. I would not be a cute bald girl. I don't know how the hell Amber Rose pulls it off. Now I'm gonna go on with this spray. I forgot to mention this product in the beginning of the video. So I like to go on with this spray. It is the Airbrush Legs Sally Henson Spray. Um, water resistant, which is fun. This is how it looks. I like to go on with the shade Medium Glow. I guess that's the shade. And this is a tanning spray for People who like to spray tan or whatever, but I teased on my hair. I actually go instead of going like this because it gets everywhere. I go in with it in a cup. I just go in with like a lot of it, kind of a lot, because I don't like wasting my foundation. Like usually people take their foundation and they put it all over their scalp. I don't like wasting my foundation. Like for that, um, I end up going in with like the foundation, um, almost on half of my scalp, and that's like a full face. Like I, that's literally I use so much foundation for that, and I don't like using all my foundation up like that. And I'm just gonna take a brush. The brush is already kind of dirty, and just rub it against like my whole hairline so I can blend in with my natural skin tone um so underneath the wig when I separate the wig to part it and everything you can see my scalp won't be this color it'll be like my skin color and it'll look more natural now it looks like I'm, I'm actually bald <laughs> like it literally looks like I'm bald I, wanna, I was so hesitant to post a video like this on YouTube because I was like oh my god I don't want to go look crazy I don't want people to screenshot the video and have me looking like a fucking cycle oh look crazy but whatever, I don't care. This is how I finesse my frontal wig, okay guys? This is how you do it. This is the bald cap method. Now I'm gonna need a pair of scissors. I have these little pair of scissors, metal scissors. I like to use a smaller pair of scissors. I, I used to try going with like huge chicken, I mean chicken, what the fuck? I used to go in with a huge pair of like kitchen scissors and try my best to like cut it, but I, it was just a mess. Try to get a little pair of scissors, it's easier. I'm gonna take it from the ears. See, the ears are the hardest freaking part, guys, I swear. I have to go up like this. And I just take it and tuck it underneath like that. Now, I'm going to need more spray for this part. This happens a lot. I can't tell you guys the amount of time I've almost cut my actual ears off. <laughs> like this part of my ear and stuff. And now I'm going to take these two parts. I hate when it wrinkles up like this. That's so annoying. So I'm going to take the spray. And I'm going to spray her on each side. But I'm going to do one side at a time. So I'm going to get the blow dryer. Blow dry down this part until it's dry. And then we do the same thing to this side. Okay, so I'm back with my bald cap on evenly on each side and everything. I usually just take it right from the middle. I take a little snippet of it. I try not to glue down this thick strap part. So I take it back to like where the glue stops. This part's probably a little too thick. Um, once I add the wig on, I'm gonna make some adjust adjustments because I can't really tell her if everything's evenly good yet until the wig's actually on, usually. And sometimes this part is not even at all, and that's honestly fine. It doesn't have to be a perfect straight line or anything like that. See, I messed up right here. You can see my natural hair coming through, but that's fine. It's not gonna like really damage my hair or anything like that. But that's annoying because like I try to not have my natural hair show through as much as possible because I don't want that glue to damage my real hair. That glue is so strong, guys. Honestly, what will really damage your hair is the removing process. When you remove the glue, the wig after the week of wearing it or whatever, make sure you go in with so much alcohol, guys, to the point where it just slips right off. Do not pull or try to tug and tuck your hair because that's what's going to damage it like a glue yeah that's like the main thing that's going to damage it but the removing process is what's really going to damage it if you remove it the wrong way um, okay now my hair looks so oh my god 
This is the bald cut method, so obviously I'm gonna look bald. You can take a washcloth, you can take a little washcloth, or you can take a Q-tip, you can take whatever you want to take, whatever. But make sure you don't get it on top of this part because it's gonna make it start, it's gonna peel it off because alcohol takes the glue off. You try to go in with this around your scalp. This glue will not work as well if you have makeup or moisturizer or anything. Okay, now before I go in with the glue, this is like the last step of it all. Before I go in with the glue, I'm gonna take the wig and um, just make sure everything's measured the right way and it looks good on top of the way I cut everything out. So this is my wig. I just washed it so it's still a little damp. Well, really damp. I'm just gonna put her on. Okay. So I actually feel like my bald cut needs to be pushed back a little bit more. Like I cannot put my frontal like right here and still look good. Like a lot of girls do that to try and avoid their edges as much as possible, which is so smart, but I can't do that because my forehead is not that big and I look crazy doing that. Look at this part, guys. It's already coming off, but that's fine. When I go in with the glue, it's going to like hold it down. My natural hair starts like exactly where this line is at right now. So I take the glue and you can do this in sections if you want to. I go in with, I do the whole part of the forehead first. And then I do one side, I'm gonna do the other side. Oh my fucking, oh my god. What the fucking shit. That is way too much glue. Guys, don't be like me, I'm the freaking worst. I'm such a klutz with every little thing I do. See, now any parts that are lifting up, I can just push it down. Now with this glue, I don't know if you guys know how to work with this glue or not, but you have to make sure it's um very thin. I'm actually using the end of my brush, it's so ghetto, but at the end when I'm done using the brush, I'm just going to spray it with alcohol and wipe it all off. Um, I can't find anything else to use. You can use like an end of a comb, you could use almost anything, as long as you just wash it off after, because if you don't, it's going to be really sticky. It air dries really, really fast. If you want to dry it faster, you can um, blow dry it down, but on the cool setting of the blow dryer, not the heated setting. So now I'm waiting for it to just get clear. It's really sticky now, it's ready for the wigs. Make sure it's centered right in the middle where I want it to be. And then I just lay it right down. I stretch it out a little bit. And this is only the front we're doing right now, so. I have to always press. I have to go in and press the hair in. This is why I need the comb mainly for. It's like just to help hold down everything that needs to get held down. Believe it or not, guys, I actually didn't even bleach the knots um, on this frontal yet. It's like. It looks so natural and so good so far. Next time you guys see the wig, it's gonna be. The knots will be bleached and. It's gonna look 10 times better than it does now. Now it's secure. I can feel it. I can literally feel how tight it is. Um, I didn't customize this hair yet at all. I literally, I bought it, I washed it, and I just put it on. I installed it. I didn't um, customize it in any type of way yet. I didn't pluck it yet or anything. So when I do that, it's gonna look 10 times better. But for now, this is just how it looks. And then I'm gonna do the same process that you see me do in the middle to each side. After that part's on there nicely. I have to go on the side. Oh. See how this part flips up? It's okay because the glue can hold that down. Your hair in the way. This is so ghetto using this, but literally I have to because I cannot find anything else to use right now. So you put it on, it's white, it dries down, clear. Don't put it down. Don't glue the frontal down until the hair, the glue is dried down onto your head. It takes so fast to dry. You can get one of these fans from the dollar store actually for literally a dollar, obviously. They help with this process. I'm probably gonna cut this part out because my camera's dying, but it's literally so self-explanatory. It's the same exact way I did this. It's the same exact thing I did to each side. I feel like the sides are always easier than the actual front. Okay, now I'm gonna do this side off camera and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so that I'm back with my frontal all on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My, I'm gonna go side of my hair off the camera because my phone is, my camera is dying. That's how I sell my wig like literally once a week. It's so easy, so simple. It takes like 30 minutes the most. But I'll show you guys a clip of how it looks at the end when I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you guys in my next video.